I wonder how Clarence Thomas feels about cloning game consoles. Hey, or (laughs) (laughs) I'm all alone. So are we all? We're all clones. Nice. I say keep both. Bog Panda. And welcome back to Bog Panda, everyone. I am Dr. Mike at Official Pagan on Everything. And joining me as always. Hi, everybody. This is Kelly, now self-conscious about spelling his information <laughs> out, but doing it. Uh, Mike has brought that up recently, but it's at, uh, which is the little symbol with the A that goes <laughs> K-E-L-L-Y-T-H-U-L on Twitter and Instagram. No, I think and it's then, good that you do that because it's it's professional and I don't go about it in a professional way. I just kind of throw it out there. I'd agree. <laughs> if you get a chance... Um, uh, we appreciate it if you kind of go check out our channel out. Bog Panda channel will have all kinds of interesting things for you. Uh, there's some stuff on uh, Better Call Saul uh, on the Saul and Battery. There's the stuff Mike and I do about Alice Cooper album reviews. There's the retro gaming stuff that we do a lot of stuff about. Uh, occasional talk about movies on a rare occasion, not recently, because every issue that Mike wants to talk about, I think, will get us banned from YouTube. <laughs> but we will occasionally take on an issue. Uh, and yes, the electoral college debate will occur at some point on on Bog Panda, but we're not. I am there looking yet. forward to that. That'll be that'll be fun. What I'm finding out, spoiler alert: Mike's coming in with take out the electoral college, and I'm kind of <laughs> kind of saying adjust it, but keep it. Um, <laughs> the uh, but I can't seem to find anybody on my side. <laughs> no, I'm, See, I'm all for it. I'm in a very lonely board. position, so that'll be. <laughs> That'll be fun. But uh, <laughs> political discourse aside, if you if you liked anything that's out there, uh, maybe subscribe to the channel You get and hit the bell so you're notified when we put new stuff out. Uh, give a video or two a like if you could. Leave us a comment. Uh, and uh, check out uh, either our website or the video description for get a link to our merch store. Absolutely. So tonight we're going to kind of, it should be a quick one. We're going to touch on something, you know, as much as we've talked about retro gaming on here, we haven't really brought up clone consoles. Uh, We've talked about consoles like Super Console X, where we get completely legal licensed ROMs and play those on there. And of course, you know, you can play multiple games on all of the different arcade machines that we have. Uh, The Atari Fight Stick, again, all legal well, those really are all legal <laughs> licensed ROMs. Um, one thing we really haven't talked about too much is clone consoles. And this is something I've kind of been keeping an eye on. Um, every once in a while, they'll pop up. And I do have a few cartridges laying around. And occasionally there's you know reissues of old games on new cartridges. We were just recently talking about Zero Tolerance being one of those and that getting an actual Genesis cartridge reissue and things like that. So every once in a while, these things will pop up. Uh, I might have an original Genesis still lying around. I don't know what kind of working condition that's in. So I've thought a few times, because I do have a few of my cartridges, you know, maybe picking up one of these clone consoles. And for anyone who doesn't know, essentially what those are, the patents on the actual consoles themselves are up. So there are companies that release new Genesis, Nintendo, Super Nintendo consoles that are compatible with the actual physical cartridges but are not made by those companies are made by third-party companies. And when you go on Amazon and things like that, you'll actually find a lot of these that have multiple cartridge slots and you can play games from different companies and developers for different uh, systems on there. So it's an interesting prospect. A lot of these are relatively cheap considering what you're getting for them. However, it does seem like if it's something you're going to jump into, you really have to be careful because the quality seems to be all over the place when you look at reviews. Yeah, and I mean, that's always been kind of historically the problem with clones and on any sort of uh, delivery platform is that um, sometimes it's someone who's got manufacturing expertise and is actually able to put out a quality product. (laughs) But a lot of times it's someone that is basically trying to get about anything out to market to sell uh, and aren't necessarily overly concerned that if it will last through two or three plays. (laughs) 
And uh, yeah, that's the thing to be, to be kind of careful. But I, I mean, I love the concept, uh, but I remain really spooked on, um, uh, you don't want to, even though they're not like prohibitively expensive is you don't really want to drop a bunch of money down and then get something that's kind of junky, you know, and even, even super console X's, um, you kind of dance that line a little bit because your, your first go around did not go well. <laughs> uh, right. And, uh, and so I think that's, and that's, I don't think unusual, uh, that occasionally that can, that can happen. But, uh, yeah, I would, uh, I would look submitting and we're going to include a link to a video on a one that was recently reviewed. Uh, and it, I don't know, it looked pretty interesting to me, but like as I mentioned on a previous show, I'm kind of out of places for stuff right now. <laughs> yeah. And that's the other thing too, of course, you know, getting into physical cartridges, you know, am I going to start buying, am I going to start collecting old games? Am I going to start buying, you know, the new homebrew games or indie games that are being released on cartridges for these consoles, which I think is great that there's a market that exists that does that. Um, but that's another thing to kind of, you know, one of the things that would interest me in this, for example, is to pick up some indie games. And sometimes those games don't work on the clone consoles. So uh, one that we talked about here, Paprium is, is, you know, a really controversial indie game that was released for Sega Genesis. That had a lot of problems with people trying to, once they finally got their cartridges, um, it was one of those things where, you know, people pre-ordered to raise funds for it and then waited a few years with little or no updates on it and then randomly got cartridges <laughs> mailed to them. So the people who kept their orders did eventually get them. Uh, but there was a lot of reports of people not being able to play the game. Uh, it wouldn't work for the most part on clone consoles. And even some people at original hardware had issues playing it, depending on the model they were using. And I'd seen somewhere, and again, I don't own a copy of it, so I don't know how true this is or isn't, but some people um, pretty much were saying that it worked better if you had a 32X, which you know, attached to the Sega Genesis. It basically just powered up the Sega Genesis to it from a 16 bit to a 32 bit system. And that that extra processing power allowed it to play Paprium better, even though it's not a 32 bit game that it gave it the extra power needed to play that because Paprium in order to get as much onto that cartridge as they did, they used uh, additional add on chipsets and things like that built into the cartridge, which was something Nintendo did all the time going all the way back to the NES but Sega rarely did that. Added additional chips to their cartridges. Yeah, and that's another thing on the on the clone stuff is that uh, because most game developers, definitely the companies that are in place doing it, and even I would expect most most savvy independent game creators are kind of right into the OEM spec, and so from a processor power from a memory uh, management all those those elements uh they're operating under the assumption that these are my high-end thresholds that the clone manufacturer may or may not deliver because they can save a few dollars if it's not maybe quite the same horsepower or maybe a little less memory or some of those things yeah, so it's it's something that I think is interesting but I don't know if I'm ready to or if I ever will pull the trigger on something like that personally but I do think it's inter an interesting market. I agree completely. Well, anything else you want to add, sir? I'm good. All right. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Thanks everybody. <laughs>